What are the two main language traditions in Canadian literature? A. French and Spanish. B. English and French. C. German and English. D. English and Indigenous languages. Answer. B. English and French. What were some of the earliest Canadian narratives about? A. Politics. B. Travel and exploration. C. Love stories. D. Scientific discoveries. Answer. B. Travel and exploration. Which term describes a condition shared by all colonial era societies in their beginnings, but sometimes erroneously thought to apply mainly to Canada? A. Colonial mentality. B. Garrison mentality. C. Settler mentality. D. Conquest mentality. Answer. B. Garrison mentality. In recent decades, what has strongly influenced Canada's literature? A. Religious movements. B. Political ideologies. C. Immigrants from around the world. D. Technological advancements. Answer. C. Immigrants from around the world. How has Canada's ethnic and cultural diversity been reflected in its literature since the 1980s? A. It has been ignored. B. It has been downplayed. C. It has been openly reflected. D. It has been used for propaganda. Answer. C. It has been openly reflected. According to the statement, why is the term, indigenous literature, considered misleading? A. Because indigenous literature is not well known. B. Because there is no literature produced by indigenous peoples. C. Because each indigenous group has its own literature, language, and culture. D. Because indigenous literature is not diverse. Answer. C. Because each indigenous group has its own literature, language, and culture. What does Jeanette Armstrong suggest about the term, native literature? A. It accurately represents the diversity of indigenous literature. B. It is a useful term for discussing indigenous literature as a whole. C. It should be avoided because it oversimplifies the diversity of indigenous literature. D. It is the preferred term among indigenous writers. Answer. C. It should be avoided because it oversimplifies the diversity of indigenous literature. According to the statement, what kind of literature exists among indigenous peoples of Canada? A. Homogenous literature. B. Generic literature. C. Literature specific to each group. D. Western literature. Answer. C. Literature specific to each group. What does the statement imply about the diversity of indigenous cultures in Canada? A. There is little diversity among indigenous cultures. B. Indigenous cultures in Canada are all very similar. C. Each indigenous group in Canada has its own distinct culture. D. Indigenous cultures in Canada are all the same. Answer. C. Each indigenous group in Canada has its own distinct culture. How does the statement suggest that indigenous literature should be understood? A. As a single, unified body of work. B. As a collection of works by various indigenous authors. C. As a reflection of the diversity of indigenous cultures. D. As a literary tradition separate from mainstream Canadian literature. Answer. C. As a reflection of the diversity of indigenous cultures. What does oral tradition include? A. Novels and short stories. B. Myths, folklore, and legends. C. Scientific theories. D. Political speeches. Answer. B. Myths, folklore, and legends. Why is passing down oral tradition considered important? A. It ensures that stories are retold accurately. B. It helps to preserve written literature. C. It prevents cultural change. D. It is a requirement of the government. Answer. A. It ensures that stories are retold accurately. How does oral tradition shape the everyday life of a community and individual? A. By enforcing strict rules. B. By providing entertainment. C. By influencing identity and spirituality. D. By promoting material wealth. Answer. C. By influencing identity and spirituality. How do elders contribute to the preservation of oral tradition? A. By writing down stories. B. By recording songs and prayers. C. By serving as a link between generations. D. By organizing cultural events. Answer. C. By serving as a link between generations. What impact did the residential school system have on indigenous communities? A. It strengthened cultural identity. B. It caused severe cultural, psychological, and social impacts. C. It increased cultural exchange. D. It improved educational opportunities. Answer. B. It caused severe cultural, psychological, and social impacts. Which of the following is not true about Mi'kmaq literature? 
A. It is rooted in traditional oral stories. B. Glooskap is a commonly known cultural hero in Mi'kmaq literature. C. Rita Jo primarily writes in French. D. Lindsay Marshall is a Mi'kmaq poet. Answer. C. Rita Jo primarily writes in French. What themes does Rita Jo explore in her poetry? A. Romance and adventure. B. Loss and resilience of her culture. C. Political ideologies. D. Science fiction. Answer. B. Loss and resilience of her culture. Hoy's glue scap in Mi'kmaq literature. A. A historical figure. B. A trickster figure and cultural hero. C. A political leader. D. A religious figure. Answer. B. A trickster figure and cultural hero. In addition to writing, what other form of art has Rita Jo been recognized for? A. Painting. B. Sculpture. C. Music. D. Poetry. Answer. D. Poetry. Apart from Rita Jo, which other poets are mentioned as notable in Mi'kmaq literature? A. John Smith and Sarah Johnson. B. Lindsay Marshall, Shirley Bear, and Teresa Marshall. C. William White and Mary Black. D. David Brown and Susan Green. Answer. B. Lindsay Marshall, Shirley Bear, and Teresa Marshall. Which of the following is not true about the Mohawk people? A. They are geographically dispersed across Canada and the United States. B. They are part of the Iroquois Confederacy. C. Their traditions are not influenced by the great law of peace. D. They have a creation story that is foundational to their beliefs. Answer. C. Their traditions are not influenced by the great law of peace. What is the great law of peace? A. A Mohawk creation story. B. A treaty between Mohawk and other nations. C. A governance system created by the Iroquois Confederacy. D. A religious text of the Mohawk people. Answer. C. A governance system created by the Iroquois Confederacy. Hoys Beth Brandt. A. A Mohawk letter. B. An essayist and short story writer who incorporates Mohawk creation story in her writings. C. A famous Mohawk artist. D. The author of Weaver's Spider's Web. Answer. B. An essayist and short story writer who incorporates Mohawk creation story in her writings. Anishinaabe and Ojibwe literature. Wo wrote the autobiography titled, The Life, History, and Travels of Ka Ji -e Ga Bo. A. George Kapwe. B. Basil Johnston. C. Richard Wagamese. D. Drew Hayden Taylor. Answer. A. George Kapwe. What is significant about Richard Wagamese's, Keeper and Me? A. It is the first book written by a Canadian Indigenous person in English. B. It is an autobiography that prioritizes Ojibwe beliefs and values. C. It features the coyote, a trickster figure, and a powerful woman, symbols in longhouse cultures. D. It is an essay addressing indigenous identity. Answer. B. It is an autobiography that prioritizes Ojibwe beliefs and values. What are some recurring themes in Cree literature? A. Urbanization and modernization. B. The disappearance of the buffalo and confinement on reserves. C. Romantic love and adventure. D. Political activism and social justice. Answer. B. The disappearance of the buffalo and confinement on reserves. Hoy's Thompson Highway. A. Acri leader. B. Acri writer, playwright, and musician. C. A fictional character in Cree literature. D. A political activist. Answer. B. A Cree writer, playwright, and musician. What is, Kiss of the Fur Queen, about? A. The Migration Patterns of Buffalo. B. The History of the Cree People. C. The Experiences of Cree People in Residential Schools. D. The Cultural Significance of the Trixed Figure. Answer. C. The Experiences of Cree People in Residential Schools. How does the trickster figure Wisajichak parallel Christ in, Kiss of the Fur Queen? A. Both are figures of authority. B. Both are associated with healing. C. Both are symbols of sexual abuse. D. Both are fictional characters. Answer. B. Both are associated with healing. What is the Periodical Marketers of Canada Aboriginal Literature Award inspired by? A. The Canadian Government. B. The First Nation Communities Read Program. C. The United Nations. D. The Indigenous Writers Guild. Answer. B. The First Nation Communities Read Program. What prize do the award-winning writers receive? A. A Certificate. B. A publishing deal. C. $5,000 in title selection. D. Ashalarship. Answer. 
C. $5,000 in title selection. What does the First Nations Communities Red Program aim to promote? A. Science fiction literature. B. Family literacy and storytelling. C. Crime novels. D. Poetry. Answer. B. Family literacy and storytelling. What is Daryl Dennis's book, Peace Pipe Dreams, about? A. Religious ceremonies. B. Treaties between indigenous peoples and settlers. C. Indigenous residential schools. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. What does Daryl Dennis's book empathize regarding stereotypes and historical events for indigenous peoples in North America? A. It reinforces stereotypes. B. It challenges stereotypes. C. It ignores stereotypes. D. It creates new stereotypes. Answer. B. It challenges stereotypes. Bird Award. Which of Richard Wagamese's books won the Bird Award for First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Literature in 2013? A. They Called Me Number 1 B. The Inconvenient Indian C. Indian Horse D. North End Love Songs Answer. C. Indian Horse. What sport does Richard Wagamese illuminate in a positive light in, Indian Horse? A. Basketball. B. Soccer. C. Ice Hockey. D. Lacrosse. Answer. C. Ice Hockey. What is the focus of Bev Seller's book, They Called Me Number 1, Secrets and Survival at an Indian Residential School? A. Life after residential school. B. Residential school experiences. C. Indigenous leadership. D. Canadian history. Answer. B. Residential school experiences. Governor General's Award. What is the focus of Katharina Vermette's poetry book, North End Love Songs? A. Love stories from Winnipeg's North End. B. Poems about the beauty of Winnipeg. C. Poems about the disappearance of her brother in Winnipeg's North End. D. Poems about the tough and notorious neighborhood of Winnipeg's North End. Answer. D. Poems about the tough and notorious neighborhood of Winnipeg's North End. What is the focus of David Robertson's book, On the Trapline, which won the 2021 Governor General's Literary Award for Young People's Literature, Illustration? A. A young boy's trip with his mashom to the family trapline. B. A collection of indigenous stories. C. A historical account of indigenous life. D. A guidebook for survival in the wilderness. Answer. A. A young boy's trip with his mashom to the family trapline. Indigenous Voices Awards. Why were the Indigenous Voices Awards created in 2017? A. To support cultural appropriation in literature. B. In response to a controversy involving a prize supporting cultural appropriation. C. To celebrate Indigenous writers who have won other awards. D. To promote Indigenous literature outside of Canada. Answer. B. In response to a controversy involving a prize supporting cultural appropriation. Who launched the crowdfunding campaign to create the Indigenous Voices Awards? A. Billy Ray Belcourt. B. J. D. Curtness. C. Aviak Johnston. D. Robin Parker. Answer. D. Robin Parker. Wowery some of the winners of the first Indigenous Voices Awards in 2018. A. Lee Miracle. B. Billy Ray Belcourt. J. D. Curtness, and Aviak Johnston. C. Sheldon Auberman and Simon Tukum. D. Larry Loy and Constance Brissenden. Answer. B. Billy Ray Belcourt, J. D. Curtness, and Aviak Johnston. Norma Fleck Award for Canadian Children's Nonfiction. What book won the Norma Fleck Award for Canadian Children's Nonfiction in 2000? A. Ravensong. B. The Shaman's Nephew. A Life in the Far North. C. As Long as the River Flows. D. The Life and Times of Simon Tukum. Answer. B. The Shaman's Nephew. A Life in the Far North. What is the focus of Larry Loy and Constance Brissenden's book, As Long as the River Flows? A. Cree Culture and Residential Schools. B. Inuit Life. C. The Impact of Residential Schools on Indigenous Communities. D. Short Stories about Inuit Life. Answer. A. Cree Culture and Residential Schools. Marilyn Bailey Picture Book Award. What age group are the Marilyn Bailey Picture Book Award winning books aimed at? A. Children ages 6 to 12. B. Children ages 3 to 8. C. Teenagers. D. Adults. Answer. B. Children ages 3 to 8. What is the focus of Nicola I. Campbell's book, She Sheetko? A. A young girl's experience at summer camp. B. A young girl preparing to attend residential school. C. A young boy's adventure in the wilderness.
D. A young girl's journey to find her lost dog. Answer. B. A young girl preparing to attend residential school. TD Canadian Children's Literature Award. What is the grand prize for the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award? A. $10,000. B. $20,000. C. $30,000. D. $50,000. Answer. C. $30,000. What is the focus of Melanie Florence's book, Missing the Mama? A. A missing grandmother. B. The bond between a mother and daughter. C. A young girl's search for her lost pet. D. The history of indigenous peoples in Canada. Answer. B. The bond between a mother and daughter. Which book by Nicola I. Campbell won the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award Grand Prize in 2009? A. She She Etco. B. She Cheese Canoe. C. Sometimes I feel like a fox. D. She She's Canoe. Answer. D. She She's Canoe. Truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC. What is the focus of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada TRC? A. To promote Indigenous literature. B. To recognize the impact of Canadian residential schools on Indigenous peoples. C. To revitalize the relationship between Canadians and Indigenous peoples. D. All of the above. Answer. B. To recognize the impact of Canadian residential schools on Indigenous peoples. What is the TRC's It Matters to Me campaign aimed at? A. Promoting Indigenous literature. B. Highlighting the importance of reconciliation. C. Encouraging residential school survivors to share their stories. D. Advocating for government policies. Answer. B. Highlighting the importance of reconciliation. Indigenous Book Club Month. When is Indigenous Book Club Month in Canada? A. January. B. June. C. August. D. December. Answer. B. June. What is the goal of Indigenous Book Club Month? A. To promote Indigenous authors. B. To encourage reading among Indigenous peoples. C. To restore the relationship between Canadian and Indigenous peoples. D. To celebrate Indigenous history and culture. Answer. C. To restore the relationship between Canadian and Indigenous peoples. What is the official hashtag for Indigenous Book Club Month on social media? A. Hashtag Indigenous Books. B. Hashtag Read Indigenous. C. Hashtag Indigenous Reads. D. Hashtag Native Books. Answer. C. Hashtag Indigenous Reads. When was the Lower Canada Legislative Library founded? A. 1802. B. 1818. C. 1820. D. 1849. Answer. A. 1802. How does the founding date of the Lower Canada Legislative Library compare to the Library of the British House of Commons? A. It was founded later. B. It was founded earlier. C. Both were founded in the same year. D. There is no mention of the Library of the British House of Commons. Answer. A. It was founded later. What happened to the books in the Lower Canada Legislative Library during the burning of the Canadian Parliament in 1849? A. They were all saved. B. They were moved to the Canadian Parliament in Montreal. C. They were destroyed along with thousands of French Canadian books and a few hundred English books. D. There is no mention of the fate of the books. Answer. C. They were destroyed along with thousands of French Canadian books and a few hundred English books. What event is credited with leading to the rise of French Canadian fiction? A. The founding of the Lower Canada Legislative Library. B. The 1820s Quebec Literature Revival. C. The rise of Quebec patriotism in the 1837 Lower Canada Rebellion. D. The modern system of primary school education. Answer. C. The rise of Quebec patriotism in the 1837 Lower Canada Rebellion. Which novel is widely regarded as the first French-Canadian novel? A. L'influence d'une livre by Philippe Ignace Francois Aubert de Gaspé. B. The Rural Novel. C. The Historical Novel. D. Balzac's Works. Answer. A. L'influence d'une livre by Philippe Ignace Francois Aubert de Gaspé. Wobacam one of Quebec's first literary theorists in 1866. A. Louis Honoré Frechet. B. Arthur Bouis. C. Father Henri Raymond Cassegrain. D. Gabriel Roy. Answer. C. Father Henri Raymond Cassegrain. What did Father Henri Raymond Cassegrain argue should be literature's goal? A. To project an image of proper Catholic morality. B. To challenge societal norms. C. To explore psychological and sociological foundations. D. To break conventions and write more interesting works.
Answer. A. To project an image of proper Catholic morality. Wowery Somathors who broke conventions to write more interesting works, according to the passage. A. Louis Honoré Frechette and Arthur Buies B. Gabrielle Roy and Anne Ebert C. Roth Carrier and Nicole Brissard D. Antonin Miley and Roth Carrier Answer. A. Louis Honoré Frechette and Arthur Buies. What event greatly expanded French-Canadian literature? A. The 1930s psychological and sociological novel trend. B. The beginnings of industrialization in the 1950s. C. The quiet revolution in the 1960s. D. The turmoil of the Second World War. Answer. C. The quiet revolution in the 1960s. Wo wrote the story, The Hockey Sweater, in 1979. A. Gabrielle Roy. B. Roth Carrier. C. Antonin Miley. D. Nicole Brassard. Answer. B. Roth Carrier. When did Canada officially become a country? A. July 1, 1867. B. July 1, 1769. C. July 1, 1832. D. July 1, 1852. Answer. A. July 1, 1867. Which book is often considered to be the first work of Canadian literature? A. The Backwoods of Canada by Catherine Parr Trail. B. The Clockmaker by Thomas Chandler Halliburton. C. Roughing It in the Bush by Susanna Moody. D. The History of Emily Montague by Francis Brooke. Answer. D. The History of Emily Montague by Francis Brooke. What themes did Susanna Moody and Catherine Parr Trail's books often deal with? A. Exploration of the Canadian Wilderness. B. Survival in the Rugged Canadian Environment. C. Political Intrigue in Early Canada. D. Cultural Differences Between Canada and England. Answer. B. Survival in the Rugged Canadian Environment. Which of the following did not write about life in Canada? A. Thomas Chandler Halliburton. B. Susanna Moody. C. Catherine Parr Trail. D. Agnes Strickland. Answer. D. Agnes Strickland. What is Thomas Chandler Halliburton remembered for? A. Writing elegant royal biographies. B. Creating the character Sam Slick. C. Documenting pioneer life in Upper Canada. D. Writing about the conquest of New France. Answer. B. Creating the character Sam Slick. Which group of poets came to prominence in the 1880s and 1890s and is known as the Confederation Poets? A. The Montreal Group B. The Confederation of Canadian Poets C. The Confederation Poets D. The Canadian Literary Confederation Answer. C. The Confederation Poets Which novel by L. M. Montgomery is one of the best-selling books worldwide? A. Emily of New Moon B. Rilla of Ingleside C. Anne of Green Gables D. The Blue Castle. Answer. C. Anne of Green Gables. Wow is the best-selling humor writer in the world between 1915 and 1925. A. Stephen Leacock. B. Morley Callahan. C. Hugh McLennan. D. W. O. Mitchell. Answer. A. Stephen Leacock. Which Canadian author is best known for his work, Never Cry Wolf? A. Mordecai Richler. B. Farley Mowat. C. Leonard Cohen. D. Margaret Lawrence. Answer. B. Farley Mowat. Wo wrote the novel, Beautiful Losers, and was later known for his folk singing and songwriting. A. Farley Mowat. B. Leonard Cohen. C. Mordecai Richler. D. Hugh McLennan. Answer. B. Leonard Cohen. Which Canadian author's work, Canada Made Me, was widely rejected for presenting a sour interpretation of the country? A. Margaret Lawrence. B. Norman Levine. C. Sheila Watson. D. Mordecai Richler. Answer. B. Norman Levine. Hoy's arguably the best known living Canadian writer internationally. A. Robertson Davies. B. Mordecai Richler. C. Margaret Atwood. D. Margaret Lawrence. Answer. C. Margaret Atwood. Which of the following authors is not mentioned as a great 20th century Canadian author? A. Michael Ondatya. B. Carol Shields. C. Alistair MacLeod. D. Alice Munro. Answer. D. Alice Munro. Which author is known for her novel, The Stone Angel? A. Margaret Atwood. B. Margaret Lawrence. C. Mavis Gallant. D. Carol Shields. Answer. B. Margaret Lawrence. Hoy's known for their novel, The English Patient. A. Michael Ondatya. B. Margaret Atwood. C. Alistair MacLeod. D. Gabrielle Roy. Answer. A. Michael Ondatya. Which author is known for the Anne of Green Gables series?
A. Margaret Lawrence. B. Mavis Gallant. C. Mazo de la Roche. D. L. M. Montgomery. Answer. D. L. M. Montgomery. Who has been called the best living writer of short stories in English and is a Nobel laureate? A. Margaret Atwood. B. Alice Munro. C. Carol Shields. D. Lawrence Hill. Answer. B. Alice Munro. Wo won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1995 for their novel, The Stone Diaries. A. Carol Shields. B. Lawrence Hill. C. Alice Munro. D. Margaret Atwood. Answer. A. Carol Shields. Which Canadian novelist won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize Overall Best Book Award in 2008 for, The Book of Negroes? A. Alice Munro. B. Carol Shields. C. Lawrence Hill. D. Margaret Atwood. Answer. C. Lawrence Hill. Wow is the first Canadian to win the Nobel Prize in Literature, awarded in 2013. A. Carol Shields. B. Alice Munro. C. Margaret Atwood. D. Lawrence Hill. Answer. B. Alice Munro. Which literary movement in Vancouver brought about poetic innovation in the 1960s? A. The Tisch Poetry Movement. B. The Vancouver Renaissance. C. The Canadian Poetic Revolution. D. The Pacific Coast Poetry Revival. Answer. A. The Tisch Poetry Movement. Hoy's probably the best known Canadian poet living today. A. Margaret Atwood. B. Anne Carson. C. Christian Bach. D. Michael Ondatya. Answer. B. Anne Carson. Who edited the notable anthology, The New Oxford Book of Canadian Verse? A. Margaret Atwood. B. Anne Carson. C. Christian Bach. D. Michael Ondatya. Answer. A. Margaret Atwood. Which Canadian poet won the Lannan Literary Award for Poetry in 1996? A. Margaret Atwood. B. Anne Carson. C. Christian Bach. D. Michael Ondatya. Answer. B. Anne Carson. Who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2013? A. Margaret Atwood. B. Alice Munro. C. Michael Ondatya. D. Jan Martel. Answer. B. Alice Munro. Which Canadian author won the Booker Prize for? The English Patient. A. Michael Ondatya. B. Margaret Atwood. C. Jan Martel. D. Alice Munro. Answer. A. Michael Ondatya. What were some of the difficulties faced by the Society of New France in its early days of colonization? A. Lack of resources. B. War with the Iroquois. C. Printing press prohibition. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Which document is not mentioned as a notable production? From the early days of colonization in New France. A. The Voyage of Jacques Cartier. B. The Muses de la Nouvelle France of Marc Lescarbot. C. The Adventures of Sieur de Dirival. D. The Voyages of Samuel de Champlain. Answer. C. The Adventures of Sieur de Dirival. Who wrote the first patriotic song of Quebec? A. Samuel de Champlain. B. Marc Lescarbot. C. Francois Mario Chaudescli. D. Gabriel Sagard. Answer. C. Francois Mario Chaudescli. Which French writer referred to Cartier and Roberville in his work, Pantagruel? A. Francois Rabelais. B. Marguerite Bourgeois. C. Gabriel Sagard. D. Marc Lescarbot. Answer. A. Francois Rabelais. Which religious order's writings were important in the early days of New France? A. Jesuits. B. Benedictines. C. Franciscans. D. Dominicans. Answer. A. Jesuits. Who wrote the controversial book, Negres Blancs de Marique? A. Pierre Valliers. B. Gerard Bisset. C. Jacques Ferrin. D. Jacques Renault. Answer. A. Pierre Valliers. Which book by Pierre Valliers won acclaim in 1974? A. Negres Blancs de Marique. B. Memoirs du Tretino. C. Don Quixote de la Démanche. D. Le Casse. Answer. C. Don Quixote de la Démanche. Which writer won Governor General's Awards for L'Incubation and Le Cycle? A. Pierre Valliers. B. Gerard Bisset. C. Jacques Ferrin. D. Jacques Renault. Answer. B. Gerard Bisset. Who received the Prix Athenais David from the Quebec government in 1977? A. Pierre Valliers. B. Gerard Bisset. C. Jacques Ferrin. D. Jacques Renault. Answer. C. Jacques Ferrin. Which novel by Jacques Renault is considered a classic of Quebec literature? A. Le Casse. B. N. D'Autres Passages. C. La Grey. 
D. Contes du Pays Incertain. Answer. A. Le Casse.